Hi, and welcome to Keysight Threat Simulator. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can utilize Keysight's Threat Simulator to assess the prevention capabilities of your web application firewall, or WAF, in Microsoft Azure. But first, I will show you how a well-known attack vector, such as a persistent cross-site scripting attack over an SQL statement, can be exploited on a website. For this demonstration, I'll be utilizing a simple bookstore PHP application running in Microsoft Azure. Let's log into this application and enter a simple example to ensure database connectivity and lookup. So book 1001. And let's hit submit. All seems okay. Now let's inject some malicious JavaScript code. For this example, I'll be utilizing the JavaScript function to redirect the victim automatically to a mock-up malicious website. And there it is. The malicious code was successfully executed by the browser. This was essentially a result of insufficient input validation in the application itself and also a misconfiguration on the WAF that should be preventing it if it's configured correctly. To assess the prevention capabilities of this WAF configuration and its ability to prevent other related vulnerabilities, we can insert the threat simulator agent in the Azure subnet. Once the software has been successfully installed, it will appear in the topology section for the threat simulator GUI. Now we can run an assessment. For the web application security, there are two choices, a sample assessment called Demo Web Application Security, consisting of 11 audits, or a much more extensive assessment called Web Application Security, with over a thousand audits in total. In the interest of time, let's create a scenario using the demo option to determine how many the Azure WAF can prevent out of the 11 attacks. This scenario, with the name OWASP, instructs that simulator to connect to port 443 and perform the attacks. And there we have it. Five audits have failed out of the 11. Let's take a detailed look at the results to see which specific attacks were not prevented. Navigating to the recommendations, we can see the specific Azure rule sets that were supposed to block these attacks along with the specific Azure rule set IDs. Having access to these rule set IDs simplifies the remediation process significantly. Based on these Azure rule set IDs and whether or not these vulnerabilities are applicable to your environment, you can configure the WAF rule set to block such attacks. After the remediation, let's rerun the assessment to ensure proper prevention. And there we have it, 100% prevention. Now let's try the exploit again on the Bookstore app. Book 1003. And as expected, we receive an alert from the Azure WAF gateway indicating successful interception and prevention of the attack. Thanks for watching. I hope this was informative.